Holy crap. Who is she? What is the history behind this magnificent sculpture? Recently unearthed on the plains of Arizona in the arid lands of the Navajo Nation. How old is she? She, it does not conform to any known remnants of Navajo history and the tools needed to construct her suggest a civilization previously unknown, one that may have existed before the dawn of known history. And with your generous commitment, we will hopefully unlock this beautiful enigma and find out what secrets she has hidden. Are there any questions? The young lady in the corner, Miss Sharon Christine Turner, I believe? Scout. Scout. Any plans for tonight, Professor Allen? Boy, I'm so glad you asked that. I'm glad you're glad. Because I have very important plans. I'm very intrigued. As you should be, because they are surprisingly devised very cleverly with you as the focal point. I am surprised and intrigued. Please elaborate. They are two wine, dying. And just perhaps seduce. Just perhaps. My most trusted colleague, Miss Sharon Christine Turner. Scout. Scout. <laughs> I like. I like. Really? Which part? The dine part. <laughs> this girl is starving. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> So what do you think? Sushi. No. <laughs> About our little show and tell. Do you think it'll get him excited? Make him cough green? Yeah. No problem. How could they refuse someone so irresistibly lickable? I am truly irresistible. <laughs> but you gotta change that part about hopefully discovering the truth. How so? To we will discover the truth. Be positive, young man. Ah, uh, no can do, my gal. You know, us serious academic types. Like you? Like me. <laughs> Can't make those kinds of promises. And what kind can you promise me, Professor Daniel Allen? A serious time now? Maybe. Ah, OK. Why, Daniel Allen promised a scout that I will forever be saved by the bell. Only reprieved. Hey, Brian. Danny. You calling me from your big deal secret location? <laughs> that I am, my man. And is this the call? The holy shit one you promised me? Uh, no, Migo, no. This is the, the call saying that, uh, holy shit's not happening tonight. You know, I'm starting to think that just maybe you don't have that world-changing discovery that's gonna finally put you on top. No, 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 no. It's for real. Okay, now stop to the top. Don't you doubt that. Oh, I won't. Cool. For now. Trust me, it's way bigger than your mystery woman statue. So you say. It's so I say. But, um, there's been a delay. All right, it's out of my hands. Sorry. Okay? Yeah. But I'm still starting to no, doubt you. It'd be worth the wait, pal, I promise you. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, uh, you might want to be watching CNN tonight. Really? Really. Okay, might. Take care, Brian. Carter, calling from who knows where. Ooh, about who knows what? Yep. Still trying to outshine you? Yeah, maybe. But now, 
we can directly proceed to the wine, dine, and seduce. Oh boy, oh boy. It's the greatest discovery since uh, man went to the moon. Shit, that shit sucks. Asshole. Okay. All right, some better. Some better. Just don't be afraid. Be cool. Hi. What a big high right back at you, Mr. Carter. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I was expecting someone else. Yeah, I know. The alphabet boys. Alpha. ABC, NBC, CNN. Oh. <laughs> yeah, mm. kind of. No, please don't be embarrassed. I completely understand. But before you get your 15 minutes, I w we uh, were sent to make sure that your incredible... Uh, discovery. Uh, discovery, thank you, is what you say it is. No, no offense, I hope. No, no. <laughs> Not at all. None, none, take, none taken. I'd, I'd, I'd probably do the same if somebody told me that they had a... But it's for real. Oh, I certainly hope so. No doubt whatsoever. As crazy and as whacked out as it sounds, I mean, this is the genuine article, Mr... Contral. But Richard, please. And this is Nicole, my facilitator. Hi. Hi. All right. <laughs> Richard, right this way. Right this way to the greatest discovery since microwave popcorn. Shit. That is wonderful. Alphabet time now, Richard. See, we had to, uh, we had to cut away about 2,000 tons of ore uh, when they, I, I found it. See, at first I thought it was just a new strata, uh, but when I got closer and I saw what those taco boys were digging up, I made them clear out fast. Good for you, Brian. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no way I want to start chattering away about this. Nor would I. Look at it. Doesn't look brand new. Like, like it could have been made yesterday. It does indeed. There's not a scratch on it. I mean, it's got to be over 14,000 years old. Really? 14,000. How on earth would you know that? Well, age of the ore around it. Well, that's when the ge um, geologists think it collapsed on it. Here, look. These hieroglyphics. And that's, that's no language I've ever seen. That is incredible. <laughs> I think that's incredible. Wait till you hear the most incredible part. You know what I think we got here? The suspense is killing me, Brian. <laughs> this isn't some old Indian piece of junk, no. What we got here is an alien spaceship. An ancient alien spaceship. I'm talking cherries to the fucking gods here, Richard. You know something? I think it's still working. Feel the power inside? The sucker's alive. Perhaps. It is. It is, and not just from this whatever, but the whole area is vibrating. Really? I believe you're correct. You're damn right. Damn right you are. Nicole. And if it is, if it is, do you know what this means? Do you have any idea what this means? I know what this means. What a goofball. Don't you ever make light of taking human life again, Nicole. You know how I feel about that. What you've just done is horrible. Unnecessary. Your next priority is make sure no one else understands the true nature of this. Just a moment, just 
Oh. I'll soon unlock your secret. And with your generous commitment, we will unlock this beautiful enigma. Perfect. They're going to be coughing green now that you went with my brilliant suggestions. Well, a guy will agree to just about anything after a great... Dinner? Dinner. How's that for a dramatic opening image, huh? It is kind of cool, isn't it? Maybe, if we knew what it was. And who you are. A legitimate request, Miss Turner. I'm Richard Contral. And Richard Contral is? Just a well-paid messenger boy for some very liquid guys. And they are? No. Oh, of no matter right now. What does matter is that they might just have had the good fortune to come across a most incredible discovery. And that's it? Oh, this is a very small part of it. A part of something that's very, very old. And by very... Very old, you mean? Over 14,000 years old. Fourteen thousand years, that's... Prehistory. Well, known history at any rate. Well, let's just say, well before that overrated sphinx would become a gleam in the eyes of its primitive creator. What do you want from Professor... Us. To help me figure out what the hell this thing is. And what message it's trying to send us from... Uh... Over the river of time. Nicely put. And how, Miss Turner, would you like to join us on a wondrous journey along that mysterious river? It's beautiful. I had no idea it surfaced so... Perfect. Crafted, sculpted with tools. Unknown. Exactly. That's... That's why I wanted you to actually see it. To understand. Not just view it digitally. Good thinking. That's what I do. <laughs> that's the way I am. And you two will help me translate what these writings actually mean, if indeed writings is what they are. Well, no, like That's me. what we do. We're going to need textural laser scans of the surface. Of course. I've already ordered them. That's what you do. Great. Daniel, look at this. The top part of this, whatever, it's the same as... This. Well, <laughs> yes, indeed, I hadn't noticed that. Well done, Miss Turner. So that would mean that buried below this is... A vehicle from the stars. Ha. Huh. Chariot of the gods. Holy crap. My sentiments exactly. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. That's a pretty big leap. Perhaps, but I think not. Why haven't you tried to uncover it? Yeah, dig it up. Oh, I will, Miss Turner. I most certainly will. But discretion above all. It's waited 14,000 years. It can wait a little while longer, at least as long as it takes to tell its story. That, of course, is, is your assignment. That's what we do. Not exactly. What we do is translate the writings of ancient cultures, human cultures, but something from another world. Not much different. We'll try our- Make it happen. I know you will. Yeah. Sure. What wonders will you reveal? Why are you also here, mystery woman? <laughs> Scott, you okay? 
Yeah. You sure? Totally. Okay. From the stars. From our forgotten past. Hey, Han, what you doing? Let's go. Daniel, I know the key. Hmm? T to understanding, translating these... The alien writings? They're not. They're not what? Alien. It's not a chariot of the gods that Contrast found. Not an alien spacecraft? No. They were created by humans. From Earth? Yes. And they left us a message. Well, let's see if we can translate it then. That's what we do. You ready? The driver should be here. It's almost time. To kiss off all we've done? Now, what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Never mind. Come on. Don't be that way now, OK? I am what I am. The woman I love. The woman who figured out the translations. And the woman who's now acting fucking weird. You should have stopped at number two. But I am what I am. Hey, guys, your ride's here. Thanks, Eli. Your timing was perfect. A really decadent stretch limo. Does it have crystal glassware? Eyes wide shut. Keep your clothes on. I'll try. <clears throat> Not an alien ship from some other world, as we suspected but rather a vessel constructed by an ancient, very human and long forgotten civilization. Now, even though the details of this startling conclusion have been transmitted to you, I thought it beneficial for you to meet the people responsible for so brilliantly translating these ancient writings, uh, Dr. Daniel Allen and Miss Sharon Turner. Thank you, Mr. Control. Oh, please, Richard. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Contrary to Richard's very kind words about our work, the etchings proved, because of Miss Turner's intuition, to be extremely simple to decipher. Ray Charles could have done it. Well, not quite that simple. But with today's high-speed computers, translations of unknown codes and languages are much easier. There's no need for a Rosetta Stone. You both are quite humble. He is. I'm not. True. But they were created, intentionally designed, so that any reasonably intelligent culture could read them. And learn. Which is the translation in your report. Yes. But that's only the surface meaning. I don't understand. Well, 
we've determined that there are hints to the real attitude and dialect of the, the storyteller beyond that of the literal translation. And Ms. Turner... Uh, Scout. Thank you. ...has created, composed a draft in which I believe is the true character of the ancient historian. She has revealed the emotional content. Really? You can do that? I can. That's what I do. Then please do so, Scout. This world has been ours for countless millennia, ruled under the benevolent bloodline of... a name I can't translate, but now approach destruction. He refused to allow the cosmos to erase all that he has so wonderfully created. He is our Lord God, my lover, and through his mighty strength wished to forge a new world, continued destiny for his people. He tasked me to complete this vision, and I have failed, unable to return to where he waited. For those who may rise again along this river of time, I have inscribed his name for eternity to remember. Our Lord God. A love letter. In a way, I it, suppose. It is. From across the river of time. Surprisingly romantic. And enigmatic. Yes, very. What else do you know about this ancient culture? Zip, but with your... That's all. Uh, In the craft, very below the etchings? Nothing. Richard wouldn't allow us. You have all the information, and we believe it is a fantastic mystery. One that I, we, want to, can solve. I understand your desire, but... But? But your assignment has now been fulfilled brilliantly and completely. You have our thanks and the considerable fee that will soon be deposited in your accounts. Now it's time for others I to totally continue. disagree. We're the ones who did all this research and we can continue this project. Again, thank you. Hey, come, come on. Easy there. Mr. Control. Oh, yes. It would now be appropriate for you to conclude... Jesus. Still hear Eli talk later. With everything we've learned, it makes perfect sense for us to continue, to see this project through. Your service is greatly appreciated, Miss Turner, but it is now over. You do understand that. Yes, we understand our agreement, but we but are- But we are the most qualified. We will soon be in communication again with you. Very soon. I think we should talk now. Goodbye. Oh, come on. Goodbye. This is Yeah, okay. See you around. Celebration time? Yeah, sure. I need a drink, but not to celebrate. Huh? That doesn't sound so great. Well, what happened? Nothing. It went mostly fine. Fine. Can we not do this now? We turned in a report, were patted on our heads, and told to hit the road. Ouch. That's not exactly what happened. Oh, really? Then tell me what did. We wrapped up our job. Our job? The one we agreed to do and get paid for. Our job. So, discovering, interpreting what could potentially change the world. 
Change the world. That's just a job. Change the world. I mean, I know the world should be changed. It needs to be changed. But saying that this discovery could is extreme. No, it isn't, Danielle. If what we found out was made public, then everyone's beliefs in reality, in history, would transform. Maybe. <sighs> no, maybe. You know I am right about this. Fine, you're right. Thank you, Professor. But are you sure you're not pissed off just because we might not be getting credit? Yeah. That's me, all right. My goal's always been to be interviewed by fake news. I'm sorry. I know that's not you. Apology accepted. Okay. I'm listening. Tell us what you want us to do. Daniel, I just want us to somehow follow this through. I just want to find out who really wrote those inscriptions. Why did she risk so If it was a she. It was. Why did she risk so much for her Lord God and her world of 14,000 years ago? A world that was much more advanced than now. Yeah, that's also kind of major, isn't it? Yes. And what happened to them? Why? How did their civilization vanish? That's a good question. And why aren't we being allowed to search for the answers? I don't know. And no clue as to what Contral's bosses are planning on doing next. True. I mean, who are those guys anyway? They certainly didn't make me feel especially warm and fuzzy. Same. So? Fuck them. We go public. Yes! All right, we tell the world, we give fake that interview. That is why you are still the man, and I love you. You know. I do. Yeah. Ready for that drink? Yes, to celebrate. Agreed. All right. Oh, crap. What's wrong with the... Can you help me? Okay. No, Scout. Oh, sure. You know you drive me nuts. <laughs> That's my job. Crazy kids. Ha! Hey, it's interview time. Hello, handsome. We'll do this the fun way. Ready to proceed? Definitely. Showtime. Resolution? Uh, it's not gonna moisten Halo's pants, but it's kicking. I'll take that as a good. 548 ultra, ultra sensitive suckers kissing it, feeding into this hungry maxi gig baby. Yeah, it's killer good. Just get on with the tool, please. Going in. Now, the images are pretty accurate, but what we're seeing is anybody's guess. Oh, oh, something bad coming up. Bonus points. <laughs> Zoom in and enhance. Hi, Captain. We're going in. Whoa. Holy crap. Uh, get, get more detail on that. Uh, we're at max. 
Another piece to the puzzle. A Rubik's Cube. An appropriate analogy. Mr. Contrell, what is it? I I'd like to show you something, sir. <laughs> Zero effect. Like a diamond. Denser. Infinitely. Oh, that's interesting. It would take something nuclear tip to break this baby apart. <laughs> well, that's never out of the question. You can do that? You have no idea what I can do. Shit. But then we'd lose our little discovery, wouldn't we, if I went all strange love on it? And I do so want to know what secrets you contain. Control, you are one supreme prick. That's an understatement, Scott. And he's sitting on the discovery. Discovery of the century. Another understatement. Then I suggest, sir, that you decide what you want to do ASAP. You do? And why is that? Our sensors are indicating increased growing activity inside uh, circuits, engines. Something is starting up. It's reactivating? Yes. That's interesting. And I think it's getting ready to take off. Now, after waiting 14,000 years. My guess is it was covered under tons of ore that buried it. And when we scraped it off, something inside so that it could now break free. Well, can it? I have no idea of knowing its power, but I'm pretty damn sure that's what it's preparing to do. Well, we're just gonna have to change its plans, aren't we? You're the boss. Yes, I am. Dr. Allen, I presume. Crap. Stay down. Time for the world to know, Control. Now, why on earth would you come to that conclusion? Nicole? Lock on and execute. Stop it. It's okay. Just a dream. Remember? Yeah, sorry. No, sorry. Don't be sorry. It was really scary. Yeah, I figured that. You're so smart. And lovable. <laughs> Just barely. Can you hold me? Must. Feel good. It does. Mission accomplished. Remember, we are God's creation, and the Creator of all has placed His divine instructions in the Scriptures, telling us, no, instructing us, that it is our right, our destiny to enrich ourselves from the world's limitless, ever-plentiful resources. We must... This is where you should be. Good food and good people. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Now promise me you'll find your way home, okay? God bless you. You too. Sharon Turner, 22, is being sought for the brutal murder of Daniel Allen. 
Alan's charred and dismembered body was discovered late last night by firefighters in his Oak Palm apartment. Alan and Turner were reported to have been romantically involved and that Alan had repeatedly tried to end their affair. You can't occupy a booth without ordering something. Coffee. I didn't order that. No coffee for you. Well, no coffee, period. Fucking spill by the fucking upstream chem plant contaminated the town's water. My idiot boss should close the place. Bad news. Yeah. Anyway, you need this more than coffee. It's no charge. You look like crap. Thanks. For the Sunday. No big deal. Nobody orders dessert anymore. It's like a world gone mad. Yeah. Do you need a job? No. I'm okay. Yeah, right. Look, if they ever clean up this water mess, they're gonna need help here. It's not too shitty. Once the owner gets the message, you're not gonna blow him. No, really. Okay. It's not. Tears. Can't stop him. Bad news? Bad, bad day. Mary, when are we gonna get some coffee? Ask the president. How bad? Really bad. Lost. Uh, your guy? Yeah. No. He wasn't just a guy. He was the only one who saw the real me. He was my best friend before he was. Look, life goes on, hon. You'll find another. He was killed today. Fuck. Murdered. Double fuck. And they're gonna get away with it. What are you saying? They're too rich, they're too powerful. I don't know what happened. I, I don't wanna know, but. You gotta make him pay somehow. But I can't. Somehow. You can't let the bad guys always win. And you must fulfill your destiny. Always ringing at the wrong time. And I hate that it's always broadcasting your location. Stay brave. Good evening. Good evening again. <laughs> One and all. You know why we requested your presence, don't you, Richard? Oh, I can guess. Don't guess. Tell us. Please. To explain why the ancient craft has yet to be disposed of. Destroyed. The harlot captured. And eliminated. You, you know that I will ultimately follow your orders. Ultimately? Oh, I, 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 please do not misinterpret. Are we? Well, I, I pray not. But I would, once again, wish to request more time to access its inner workings. We grow weary of explaining to you that whatever it contains cannot counter the negative cultural effects of its existence. Even 
even if it were not constructed by creatures, monsters from some other world, but, but built instead by humans, identical to us from some long past age? Even more so. Certainly, you have not forgotten that such knowledge of their existence would undermine our prime means of control. Of course not. The time for closure has now arrived. Has passed. And I will immediately fulfill your wishes. The relic ground into dust and scattered to the winds. The harlot? Located and butchered, of course. See that you do. I will. Good evening, Richard. What's up? Oh, yes, sir. Mr. Control. I'm accelerating the examination of our project. Cool. Yeah, be prepared to begin with. This the harlot you're looking for, Shithead? So melodramatic. How on earth did you manage to get in here? Amazing what some guys will do for a major blowjob. <laughs> From you? I don't think so. I care not. You do realize you're not getting out of here alive, don't you, dear? Kind of figured that. So why the visit? To slit your fucking throat. Oh, such mass. Yes, that's me. Oh, a blandly lower middle class. Just because we butchered your pathetic little sweetheart. No! Ah! Ah! Fuck! Ah! On your knees. <laughs> Listen to her. That's the only way you're ever going to get a woman to do that, you creep. Why must you continuously insist on referencing such an unpleasant subject, Sharon? Fuck you. But I do like your attitude. So come on, tell me. Just to satisfy my ever-inquiring mind, how did you manage to slip past security? No sweat. Your girlfriend stepped out for a smoke. Nicole, I'm disappointed. Your bosses need a higher level of employment. Oh, it's a, a national problem. Well, I'm sorry we didn't get to spend more quality time together, Sharon. Oh, well. Dispose of her. Oh, th that you'll find she's really very good at. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, that's awkward. You, uh, heard our whole little confrontation? Uh, I know nothing. Help me! Don't let this... Oh. Now my hand is seriously pained. It's about time we put an end to your sad little story. Uh, uh Mr. Control? What? When that woman comes on camera, the reading is here and it blast off the charts. What, what do you mean? From the spaceship. Really? Yeah. What, when it saw her? Uh, point your camera at them. Huh. Change of plan. Bring her along with us. Uh, secure her in the uh, usual manner. Welcome, Sharon. <clears throat> now, let's see if you really are essential to this historic puzzle. Fuck you! <clears throat> Check the readouts. Shazam! All right, here, let me have that. Ah, well, now that is very interesting. You really are linked to our little project, aren't you? All I did was interpret some etchings. Just doing my job, you creep. No, you're far more than that. Way beyond random coincidence. This ship lying dormant for thousands of years and then reacting now only to you? Serendipity? Oh, I don't think so. Chess pieces are being moved. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> now, Sharon, if you're going to be part of history, you have to be a little more elegant. Oh, oh, oh. it just can't wait to meet you. Easy with the camera. Bill me. Come on, let's take a little walk. Uh, I'll stay here and man the shop. Stay close. Those idiots wanted me to destroy this treasure. 
Bring him. <laughs> well, you're right about one thing. It is beautiful. It's not yours. Oh, well, whose is it? It belongs to... To the world? To science? Yes! Well, that's not gonna happen. Give me your gun. So you and I are gonna continue our little walk alone, just to see what happens. Move. Come on, don't be frightened. I have a very strong feeling this thing doesn't want to harm you. Yeah, well, hopefully that doesn't include you. Wait! A valid concern. On your knees. What? On your knees. You're fucking kidding, did I, I never kid. Just do it. Put your hands on the surface. Touch it. Oh, oh, oh. It is so excited to see you. Now, what do you feel? I said, what do you feel? It's cold. Powerful. I don't think I could have put it any better myself. See, that's what this has all been about. Cold power, Sharon. Cold power, when I have it in my command, when I control it, I mean fully control, and in my control alone, then I'll take that power, and the world will have to listen to Richard Control! Asshole. Time for a smoke. Nice tin man. Nice tin man. Have fun tonight, bitch. out there how's it going hello
miss the whole adventure, do you? Very interested. Shut the fuck up! Take your clothes off. What, and get on my knees? Oh, please. You're not that irresistible. <sighs> well, take them off. <laughs> Do it, or it's going to. Okay, okay, okay. Queen of outer space. You have no idea how close you are. Would you please enlighten me? Since when did we become friends? Slitting your throat is still my number one priority. Well, that's a real shame. And here I thought we were getting along so well. Even Mr. Ray Charles, right? What? Um, nothing of interest. The moon? We're there? So. so fast, how is that possible? Super science, super power. So you haven't a clue? Not a one. First woman on the moon, I believe. Any appropriate words? Fuck off. Oh. And you're wrong. How so? I've met her twin sister. Who is she?
curiouser and curiouser grows our tale. When did you become comedy relief? Oh, please, by no means. Just shut the hell up. Don't say another word to me. Got it? Got it. You gotta be kidding me. Sure. After flying to the moon and getting attacked by a killer robot, how difficult can it be to put on an ancient spacesuit? Why not? Okay. Ready for whatever. I have to say, I'm very curious to see what awaits you. Stop! 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but why? Why did you do that? Not sure. Maybe I'm just a good person. Well, thank you. I really thought I was... Or maybe I wanted to kill you myself. Whatever. Just be careful. We're in this together now, you know. Come back in one piece, okay? No. Fuck you.
watching, learning while you were dreaming. My sweet little scout.
have I done? I'm going to follow it through, Daniel. Finish our job.
Kieran. Waiting for Maya. Long ago, the Krell Crystal created a world for our people. The crystal's origin was unknown, lost in time. When destruction from the stars was foretold, Lord Guard Garen bid me to bring the Krell to this world so that he could prepare a new home for our people. But I failed, so I have selected you to fulfill my destiny. day be awakened, thanked for making this new world. My Lord God Garen. On your knees, Sharon. <gasps> Queen of outer space? No way. Into the river of time. Thank you. 